I repeat, if all the girls that they have on their Instagram page has their body done, and you do not, and you are trying to work there, it's a little bit of a tiny, tiny percentage that you're gonna be able to work. The interview process now, and like what clubs are looking for, because I honestly just came from a club tonight, and yeah, the industry is starting to get real, real different. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today, well tonight, it's like 12 a.m. Um, I'm going to be doing like a part two kind of update on um, my bottle girl video. Um, like I said before, I've been getting a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot um, of DMs and responses for of that video. Like, a lot of y'all really trying to come outside and work, which is cool and all of that, but you really have to be on it. So um, yeah, in this video, I'm gonna do an update on, I guess, like the interview process now and like what clubs are looking for, because I honestly just came from a club tonight. And yeah, the industry is starting to get real, real different. So um, yeah, let's get into this video. Okay, so, um, all right, so first I'm gonna revisit what I was saying last time in my previous video so i was telling you guys about like how to even get in contact with a club um i was telling y'all to dm them if they didn't respond to the dm within 24 hours whatever number is connected to the instagram text them or call them um and if there's no number, working number connected to the Instagram, whatever flyer they could consistently be having up, any number associated with like that same club address that's on the flyers, call that person. Um, Cause every, at the end of the day, everybody's in cahoots. Somebody is definitely gonna answer you and um, go from there. So if you're really trying to get in contact with somebody, Definitely text them from whatever numbers on their Instagram or go off of whoever's on the flyer. Because even if it's not this, the owner of the club on the flyer, the person on the flyer knows who that is. So they'll direct you. Um, so yeah, that was that. And then it was the, um, like you could possibly work that same night. If you do get in contact with somebody and um, they're like, they see your pictures, they think you're cute. Yeah, you could come in tonight, blah, blah, blah. Could work just like that, it happens all the time. Um, and yeah, another thing that I mentioned was, um, like when they, when you do text or call the place, it's most likely a guy and they always ask you to send pictures of yourself to them. I feel like that's always like the weird part um at the end of the day they want to see what you look like especially if you're not writing them directly off of instagram you text in a direct number they're gonna want to know what you look like so yeah it's nothing to send you can send the same pictures that's on instagram to whoever it is um that's always like the uncomfortable part but it's fine um oh another thing i spoke about was um Picking something like within your distance. You don't want to be working somewhere that's like super far from where you live. And then at the end of the night, you know, bottle girls, bartenders, the night ends, like you get to go home around 4 a.m. So you don't want to be trying to take the train or bus all the way from freaking Jersey at 4 o'clock in the morning. Mind you, trains don't even start running again until like 5 something. So just being like aware of like how you're gonna get home at the end of the night, period. 
because that's always like another like little issue like you don't want to spend the money that you just made that night on a cab to get home because that's just like that's just such a waste to me like i'd never want to do that i would get on the train before i think i'm about to spend a hundred dollars to get home from just work like no i'm not doing that but um yeah that's always something to think about like if it's mad far you it's not like you with another girl where y'all gonna be like taking a cab together or carpooling or nothing like that like mad far you by yourself five o'clock in the morning four o'clock in the morning you gotta get home so just like think about that um so yeah and then what else did i say i don't remember what else what i said but i'm gonna give y'all some new information now. okay so one thing i noticed about clubs now which I, i've been to three of them two three of them for like um to see if i wanted to work there like to fill it out and da -da -da. these clubs want the girls to be the party promoters now meaning if you work in there, they want you to continuously post, 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 post all week about the club and actually have people come out there to see you. So like, that's like a regular thing for like strippers. Like I, I used to see that like strippers posting up like, oh, come to my bar or um bartenders and stuff posting like that but it was never like a mandatory like you have to kind of thing it was like they had their own clientele and um they wanted to promote themselves and that was fine but now they're like um you know if you if you work here you're gonna have to um you know promote are you okay with that and me personally no I'm not doing that. I don't I don't need everybody knowing where I'm working. I got too many stalkers and baby mothers trying to look for me and find No. No, I'm not posting up where I'm at when I'm at. No. I'm coming to work, to work, and then I'm going home. That's how I've always done it. Like this whole I gotta be a promoter slash worker slash no. Because at the end of the day, y'all making money off of me. Y'all making more money than I'm getting. If I'm bringing a whole bunch of people with me when I come here. And that was the thing, like, okay, let me tell y'all. There's this club in Jersey, right? They, like, they, um, they hiring, blah, 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 whatever. I hit up the guy. He told me when to come in. I come. And it was a, a strip club in Jersey. And I never worked at a strip club before. So it was me and this other um, girl there. And um, the guy's talking to us like one at a time. He's like, you ever worked at a strip club before? And I'm like, no, I haven't worked at a strip club before. Um, I just worked at like regular clubs and lounges like that before. So he's like, um, get up, um, turn around, let me see you. Like they... Interviewing with guys is always different from interviewing with a lady. Like, everybody knows that. But, yeah, get up. Let me see you. Turn around. Blah, blah, blah. So, he's like, um, so I'm going to tell you this right now. Um, you know, the strip club is different. There are going to be guys that are going to grab your, your boobs or grab your ass while you're walking. And you can't get mad about it because, you know, this is the strip club. In my head, I'm like, go oh, back why would he even do that like what what does this look like to you where you could just do that that's what i'm saying in my head like nobody better ever not play with me like that <laughs> but outside i'm like yeah no no, no i'm good i'm fine like i know yeah. so um um like we filled out a paper or whatever and um he's like oh let me see your instagram so i pull up my instagram i only have like 1600 followers um so he's like see you don't really have that many followers um um the girls here like get people to come out that's how they get to stay to work here and i'm like like what do you mean so he's like they do this whole elimination thing every week where if you didn't bring nobody in the club for that week like 
no money in the club came from you, you're not working the next week. I'm like, what? I'm like, what? What did I do? Are you kidding me? I have to freaking uplift your company. That's not how this goes. But he's like, yeah, so you gotta make sure you bring your people in, even if it's like one, two people, if they buying drinks at the bar, if they bought a bottle, like they have to come in here, period, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, okay. So, um, yeah, we did that. Me and him spoke. He was just, uh, it was two guys. One of them was like the owner and one of them was like the partner or whatever. And um, yeah, they was both just explaining it like, yeah, you gotta bring people in, blah, 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 you don't bring people in, then you're not gonna have you working, blah, 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 whatever. So after that, um, the guy was being all flirty <clears throat> and wanted me to stick around with him or whatever, but I was like, nah, I got somewhere to go, I'm leaving. Cause I was not staying in Jersey for the night. So I leave. Um, he was like, I'm gonna give you girls a try, and um, after New Year's, I'm gonna hit you guys up, and y'all can come in. From that interview with the whole, you gotta bring people in to work the next week, I was already turned off, and I did not even wanna um, work there. So I'm like, when he hits me up, I'm gonna let him know, like, I'm good. So that was that. Um, but that whole, you have to bring people in, like, really, like, threw me off. And then... I went to another place today in Queens and they was basically saying the same thing. But like there was a the lady on the spot and she was like, um, yeah, I just had an interview. I mean, I had a, um, a meeting with the promoters and they're like asking for, um, to like hire girls that's gonna promote and that have a following. And I'm like, bro, what? Like why? is that my job now like what y'all have promoters for a reason she's like oh you know covid is really hard to get people to come outside so like if we have girls who like are gonna bring people with them when they come to work not like with them with them like clocking in or whatever but like she's coming to work today we know seven people is gonna pop out today but i'm like that just really does not sit right with me like this is a whole establishment. You have employees for a reason. You have people in place for a reason. There should You shouldn't need a promoter then if you have in girls coming and promoting at the same time. Like he should not be needed if you're gonna have all the bottle girls doing the same thing. Like, so what is he really doing if at the end of the day, people in this club because I brought them? You get what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, she was just basically saying the same thing. She's like, yeah, he wants people with, uh, with a following and, um, you know, cause of COVID it's harder. And, um, I mean, I don't feel like it's right, but, um, the promoters, sometimes they, um, you know, take control of the girl's Instagram accounts and post themselves. And, you know, I don't feel like it should be right for, like, nobody to be in nobody's Instagram, but the girls don't really mind. I'm like, what is she saying? This is, this is not even a thing. This is not even a thing. Like, so many new little whatever is just popping up, and I'm like, this is not how things used to go. Like, Instagram was never an issue for me. You had to look cute. You had to look cute to come in. That was that was it. You had to look cute to work there. Then it turned into everybody needed a BBL. Now it's you need to bring people with you when you come. It don't matter what you look like. <laughs> as long as you can bring people with you in this establishment, you're good. And I'm just like, I don't think this is it for me no more. Because I'm not doing that. Like, I have a day job. This is like a nighttime part-time kind of thing that I could do once twice a week like I'm not like this is not my lifestyle this is not this is not my life let me say that this is not my life there's some girls who's like strippers and bottle girls and they do that as their full-time job so they wouldn't have a problem promoting a job would they me I'm not doing that this is not no 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 and I told her I'm like yeah I'm not gonna be um one to promote like I'm not 
no. Like, I delete my Instagram every other day anyway. Like, yeah, that's not happening. So she was like, um, yeah, no, I wanted to be up front with you, and I didn't want you to come all the way over here for no reason or nothing like that. But he just told me, like, he wants um, the girls to promote and blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, okay, yeah, that's fine. She was like, um, not that's fine that I'll promote, but like, that's fine. Like, you didn't know when you already asked me to come down here because you wanted to meet with me. Hey, whatever. But she was like, um, like, if, like, one of the girls drop out one weekend or one day and, um, you know, we short, can I call you and you can come in? Like, you wouldn't even have to promote for that day. Like, we would just need you to cover I'm like, yeah, I could do that. Like, Fridays are great, but you could call me and I'll pull up. She was like, okay, we could, we could work with that. We could do that. Um, so, yeah, like, this is just, this is just not it. This is just not, unless you're okay with that and, like, you're good with that, with, like, the promoting and being, you know, part of their, um, you know, advertising team. Go ahead, because I feel like that's what every spot is asking for now. Like, that's the second spot I've been to. Not this one. Within the within the last three weeks. This is the second spot I've been to in three weeks, and they're asking for the same exact thing. So I guess that's a new thing now. In New York City, you have to have a following or be willing to promote and definitely have people come on outside for you. Because she was telling me, she was like, I don't want to tell you yes. And then, um, you know, you come and work in and then two weeks later, like you're not bringing nobody in. And I'm like, you gotta go. And I'm like, yeah, that's, that's like, I don't have no problem with that. Cause then you would have had a problem if I would have did that. And then you would have did that. So like, um, I like everything being up front. Like, you know what's up, I know what's up. And we go from there. Um, but yeah. But yeah, I was really like thrown off. Well, took, like, I, at first I thought it was that one spot where he was on some like, we do elimination, you didn't bring nobody, you got... I'm like, okay. No, I've been to a whole different spot now. Like, And I've been to this spot before. Like, This is a popular spot in Queens a popular area in Queens. So I've already been there previously, probably like a year or two ago. And yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like that's crazy. Like one minute, no spots is open or every spot didn't reopen when New York opened again. Now it's, Oh, it's getting so hard to get people to come outside. Now that's your job too, to get people in. Like, no. I always think about like, what makes sense for me in my pocket. Me doing extra work to get people to come here to make you money, don't, don't make sense to me. I would never, unless I'm getting some hourly wage going on here, some extra, no. No, 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 you are not making more money off of me than I am, like, no, no, and a lot of y'all do ask me about, um, like, places, oh, like, do you know any places, can you give me any places, um, a lot of y'all do that, so, get y'all pen and papers right now, because I'm about to name drop, um, a few places that, been needing girls that I don't want to work at. Not that I didn't want to work at, but like, you know, too far, not that lit, not active, or just too far. So yeah, so we're going to start from the Bronx. In the Bronx, we have um, Flavors. This is on 149th. Not on 149th, this is by 149th, but it's definitely on 3rd Avenue, right across the street from that um, precinct. Flavors in the Bronx. Um, they was asking for girls a few months ago. Um, 
Oh yeah, some girl did hit me up off of, on Instagram. She hit me up on Instagram because she seen my other video and she asked me about places and I sent her to Flavors. And she said she went and, um, what she said? She said she went, because anytime I give a girl advice, I'd be like, let me know how it went. Like, I want to know how it went. She said, oh, like, she was like, it was dead in there. First of all, when they asked you to come in, they asked you to come in before they even open. So, of course, it's slow so they could be able to talk to you. If you come in and it's busy and everybody jumping around, he going to tell you to come back another day. So the fact that she said it was slow, I'm like, you went in there like nine o'clock? What was you? Do you go outside? But I didn't even get into all of that. I was just like, okay. And then she, but yeah, flavors in the Bronx. Um, Sapphire Harlem. Lennox Sapphire Harlem. They've been looking for bartenders. Lennox Sapphire Harlem. Or Harlem Sapphire. I believe it's Sapphire Harlem. Lennox Sapphire Harlem. I don't know the exact address of that one, but they definitely were looking for bottle girls a few months ago. No, but not bottle girls, bartenders. They were looking for bartenders a few months ago. And um, I just never looked into it because I just didn't. Like I wasn't, I wasn't giving work all over the there. Um, so yeah that place you guys should check out that place see if that's still available um flash dancers flash dancers is in manhattan um midtown and downtown they have two locations um that is a strip club for those of you who don't know strip clubs can get crazy guys be touching on you and all of that extra stuff if you could hold your own and you could really like then go ahead. If you still on that shy side and you just peeking around, don't work at a strip club. Um, but yeah, I personally haven't been to Flash Dancers yet, but um, they're definitely hiring like different positions too. Like they have like waiters and entertainers, dancers, bar bartenders, things like that. And they have a whole um, application online you can fill out. So you could go on their website and um, like fill out the application and they'll call you, I guess, or whatever. Um, who else, who else, who else, who else, who else? Um, Exit 11 in Jersey. Exit 11 in Jersey is a strip club. They be hiring girls, but they're the ones who do the like elimination every week type stuff if you don't bring girls in. I mean, if you don't bring people in. So, if you that type to bring people in and all of that, you could make money there. Because they be making money. But it's just the whole begging people to come outside. I'm like, I'm not, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. So, um, yeah, Exit 11 in Jersey is right down the street from the Metro North. Is that the Metro North? New Jersey Transit. My fault. New Jersey Transit is right there if you need to take that. And good luck. <laughs> Good luck. Um, but yeah, that's that one. Um, Flamingo in Jersey is also hiring girls. Um, I have not been there. I was thinking about the whole Jersey thing before because I was I had a friend who like she wanted to do it together. So like wherever I if I got in a spot, I would get her in. If she got in a spot, she would get me in. So at that time we was both gonna be traveling back to where we lived together. Not that we lived together, but we lived in the same borough. So um, I was okay with that. If I was going to Jersey with her and then, you know, going back with her. But um, yeah, that's not the case no more. Uh, not for nothing, she just moved. So yeah, I think Jersey is back out the picture for me. But um, Flamingo in Jersey is definitely hiring. And some other place in Jersey, right on the border. But it's like a, it's a gay club. But they're also hiring. Um, who else? Cavalli in um, Queens. They're hiring. They also want you to be posting and having a following and things like that. 
So if you're willing to do that, go ahead. If not, don't waste your time. Y'all can always try Amazora. Amazora, um, when, there's, when they're having a party, especially a big party, they need like everybody in the world. <laughs> They need everybody in the world. Amazora is mad big. They have over like thousands of freaking people in there. They really need all the help you could get. It don't even matter what you look like. They having a party, they need girls, you could come in. So um, yeah, just pay attention to their page and whatnot. And um, yeah. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I really know off the top of my head right now. I hope I'm not forgetting nobody. Uh, welcome to Bronx, Harlem, Queens, Jersey. Yeah, I think that's all I, I, I know of so far. Um, Yeah, that's all the places that I know so far. So you guys can check those out to see if you get um, any luck. Some of them places I already worked at um, and not returning. Some of the places I already worked at, I'm sorry. Some of them places I already worked at, um, I could always go back, but like I, for me, I want something like permanent like i know i'm going there every week regardless this is where i work i'm going there every week i don't want a flip floppy okay one week we need you one week we don't need you like that's annoying i don't like that so that's the reason why i stopped working at a few of those places because they was getting like that I understand this pandemic blah, 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 whatever same way it's a pandemic for you it's a pandemic for me too i need money so y'all not about to be playing um, so yeah, I'm just trying to make sure I'm not forgetting nothing. Like, you know, y'all know that feeling when you feel like you're forgetting something. And also another thing, like when you, before, when you come to an interview at a, a club or whatever, like they want to see what you're looking like, what you're wearing, you know, make sure you look exactly how you look on Instagram. Cause that's a big thing that they, that they pushing. Like <laughs> I see like clubs posting little memes and subs and whatnot, like when they did, when the, but bitches don't pull up how they look on Instagram. Like, they want you to look exactly how you be looking on Instagram. But, like, they don't really... I guess because it's winter, like, and I'm coming inside with my coat on. They're not really, like, paying attention to, like, what your body look like um, or none of that. And that's that's a, that's a plus for the, the non-BBL Barbies out there that's trying to get in the clubs with a regular body. Places are not even really paying much attention to that no more because they want the, they're paying more attention to the, is she gonna get people in this club? And that's what the other guy was telling me at the at the club um, in Jersey. He was like, you could be the skinniest thing ever. You could be ugly as fuck. If you coming in here and you're bringing people with you and you bringing the, the, the club money, you can stay. Like, you can stay. Like, that's basically what, like, we pushing right now is for y'all to bring people in. And I'm like, get out of here. <laughs> get out of here. I put on my best outfit, did my hair and everything for you to tell me it don't even matter what I look like. If, am I bringing people or not? That is crazy. But that's also, like, a good thing. Um for y'all right now because i know a lot of people was complaining like oh they only want girls with bbls they only want girls with their they only want girls with their body done now they're not even looking at that they like you got people that will come outside for you like you got people that that'll come outside and you're gonna promote all right you in so definitely keep that in mind 
like you could even start off with that if you go to an interview or you hit a place up. Like, I got people that's coming outside for me, guaranteed. I know people's going to pull up. I'm going to promote. You could get in there. Try that. Try that. Try doing all of that. Just say all of that. Like, I got people to come in. Um, You know, lie a little bit. I've done this before. I used to work. Blah, blah, blah. I always have people coming outside for me. It's not an issue. Guaranteed, they're going to be asking you to pull up first thing tomorrow like oh, okay come tomorrow let's see <laughs> they gonna do that they gonna be like, let's see let's see how this goes but um yeah so definitely keep that in mind tell your friends to tell your friends even if you i don't know tell your friends to tell your friends and yeah get out there and make this money because right now everything is kind of switching up Definitely switching up. Because now you can have all the BBLs in the world. You ain't bring nobody in the club. You got to go. So. Yeah, that's that. So, yeah. That's what I got so far. Um, I'll probably do another update. Uh, maybe, maybe not. Mm, I got to see what's, what's, what's going on. Because I'm not liking this at all. Um, but yeah, you guys can keep reaching out to me. Um, I always reply to everybody. Like, people usually hit me up on Instagram and following me or not following me. Like, I always get back to everybody. Um, a lot of y'all do ask me some questions that was already in the video, so I'm gonna need y'all to watch the video before y'all be hitting me up with the same repetitive questions. But, um, yeah, um, thank you guys for watching, um, keep hitting me up, sharing, tell your friends. If you know somewhere that I don't know, um, definitely either put it in the comments or, um, DM me, but, um, yeah, yep, 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 um, so yeah, let me make this clear though if you are willing to promote your where you're working on your instagram and like constantly like get people to come out and you like you know people gonna come out for you and you have people to come out for you then it wouldn't really be an issue for you um if you don't on the other hand and you don't have a big following and you got like a thousand followers and you not having nobody coming outside for you, they're gonna not wanna give with you. And that's crazy, because that's now another hurdle. First, it was the BBL. Now it's the Instagram. BBL, now Instagram. Like, you either... You can't win, that's my God. <laughs> you cannot win in this town, bro. Everybody needs to go. Like, you all need to find somewhere else to be. Cause I don't think it's this hard nowhere else. But um, yeah, so if you're willing to do that, most likely you can get in a spot. No problem, no issue. I heard some girl had her whole project in the spot the other day and the guy was dumb hype. Like, oh yeah, you see her? She's bringing people. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm not doing that. But um, yeah, so if you're willing to do that, do that. If you're not, you're going to have to do some serious digging to get in a place that's not asking for that because everybody is. One thing I could recommend that I think I'm going to look into myself is um, um, going directly to promoters. Like, is there any bottle girl positions, any bartending positions? Because... The promoters, I noticed like some promoters have girls, like have bottle girls like on, on hand, you could say like, how can I put it? Like if there's an event, like it's not a club, but it's an event and um, the promoters, the one who's dealing with the tickets and the selling or whatever, 
he already has a line of bottle girls to facilitate the whole event. So these are not girls that work at like a specific club or nothing. They like work with that promoter. So whenever he's throwing a party, they're being a bottle girl. So like that. Which I feel like that's definitely going to be my next move. Because this whole club thing is just not the... the I'm not on your advertising team. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I'm not bringing 18 people in here to leave with two fifty, three hundred dollars, and they done made you like three bands. No, no, I'm not doing that. Makes no sense. Do your math. Don't do nothing that don't make no sense. Don't be killing yourself, traveling, promoting, rain, sleet, snow for no none of these clubs, none of these places. They make mad money. They're gonna make even more money off you. So know your worth, honestly, because that don't even make no sense. They just want you to do the extra promoting because nobody's come nobody's coming outside by themselves to be like, hey, I wanna go to ah uh, 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 today. Oh, let's go to nobody's doing that. Like we in a whole pandemic that's just be getting worse and worse and worse and worse for all these variants and cousins. This is the first freaking virus that I ever seen with so many relatives. Like how it just don't come and leave? Since when y'all just forming new, you know? Like I've never heard of that. Um, but yeah, y'all could definitely look into the reaching out to promoters like directly. Um, and yeah, see how that goes. If any, any of y'all um, decide to do that and do that and I want to know how it went. So definitely DM me and um, let me know. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. And I'm going to see y'all in my next one.